Rose, what's going on? I have been coughing for so long. I have so many chest pains. I have a fever, but yet I'm shivering. I don't know what's wrong, doctor. Is your temperature? Yes. Say, say ah. Ah. Oh my god, 120 degrees? Ah. That is horrible. Let's see. I'm going to check your heart rate, okay? Okay. Just hang on in there. Just hang on. <coughs> How long have you been feeling this way? About two to three days, doctor. Oh no. Breathe in. Ow, oh, my oh. chest. Can you try again? Okay. Ow, oh, wait, my stop chest. right there. Um, from what I observed, your heart is beating extremely fast and more than normal. Let me see. Have you been feeling tired too? Yes. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> Have you been vomiting? Yes, doctor. Take this garbage again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have diarrhea? Yes, doctor. This does not look good. I know, it doesn't. Have you <coughs> gone outside where there's a lot of people lately? Yes, I've been interacting with a lot of people and they've been coughing as well. <coughs> <coughs> this is what I'm going to do. No, this is what you need to do. Why? When you come to the set. And tell her that you need to take some x-rays and a complete blood count. Right now. Right, right now. Okay. Yes. Go over there and do it right now. I need x-rays and blood count. <coughs> you come back. <coughs> yes, doctor, I'm back. From the results, <coughs> it looks like you have... Not pneumonia! I know, it's a bacterial pneumonia caused by a bacteria. So it's not like viral pneumonia, you know, that's just caused by a virus, or mycoplasma like pneumonia, which is like only mainly in older um, children, young adults. But I'm going to call the specialist. Good call. Right now. So I can tell you what's going on in your body right now, and hopefully we can tell you what to do with your life later. Okay, I'll be Smart back. move, doctor. <coughs> Rose? Yes? I'm pneumonia man. Cool. I'm going to teach you all about the pneumonia that you have. Cool. <coughs> so essentially what's happening is you have a virus, bacteria, something sitting in your alveoli, which is in your lungs. Cool. And your body's response is to send in white blood cells. Whoa! These white blood cells are trying to fight this infection. As a side effect that kind of has become an adaptation, there are <coughs> holes or gaps in your capillaries and in your alveoli to allow for more white blood cells to enter. Whoa! That's happening inside of me? Oh yeah. <gasps> Along with that, though, comes fluids, ah, red blood cells, ah, you know, all sorts of different things just kind of begin to fill up in your alveoli. Ah. <coughs> so this creates like a base layer of just gunk. Yeah. Sitting in there. Yeah. Which then causes the O2 that should be going into your alveoli and diffusing across yeah. into your capillaries to not have much success diffusing. What? With all this blockage. So instead, your alveoli become dead space and the O2 just goes right back out. Like, that does not sound good, pneumonia man. It's not good at all. <coughs> and the CO2 that's in your capillaries just keeps chugging along with, like, just so much CO2. So much CO2. That does not sound good, also. It's not. So then, in the <laughs> left side of your heart, there's not much oxygen. An exchange of oxygen just didn't happen in the capillaries to allow for there to be um, an oxygenated blood flow through your heart. That also 
does not sound good in a moaning yeah. man. <coughs> it's just not that bad. So, Rose, I've been told that uh, you're experiencing a fast heart rate. Yes, that is All true. Right. So, essentially, what your body is doing <coughs> is it's trying to pump more blood through as a means of, you know, working with this no oxygen CO2 exchange. Because, like, there's a lot of CO2. Uh, yeah. 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 And um, I've also been told that you have <coughs> a fever. Yeah, I'm burning up over here. Well, that's just your body's re way of reacting against any sort of virus and things. Smart call, pneumonia man. Smart call. And finally, I've been told you're coughing up like mucus. Yeah, like I cough up and it's like, <coughs> like mucus all over the place. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, that's your alveoli is trying to get this, <coughs> this stuff, the, the, the stuff, the stuff, the stuff out, out, and that's why it's <coughs> mucus. Yeah. So, Rose, I personally cannot prescribe you anything, because I'm just pneumonia man. <laughs> that's out of your range. It's out of my scope of practice. <laughs> that's it. But, uh, I'll send in the doctor and... She can give you the next kind of step. Smart call, pneumonia man. Well, All right, Rose. Thanks. Hello, Rose. Hello, doctor. <coughs> How are you feeling? <coughs> Still a little sick. Did um, pneumonia man help you out? Oh, yes. Pneumonia man explained all the physiology that is happening inside my body due to this pneumonia. Okay. And we want to get that bacteria out, don't we? Correct. Eliminate that. Yeah. Not have pneumonia anymore. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna prescribe you antibiotics. Smart call. Mm. Smart call. First, you're gonna take antibiotic one. One. That's probably like, a good start. For like three to six days, and if it doesn't go away, take antibiotic two. Smart call. Smart call. And after a while, if that doesn't help you out, call me. Sure thing, Doc. Thanks okay. for all you've done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the pharmacy man now. Good plan. Good plan. You go, Rose.